So we're in the buff today? Oh, we're getting into the buff? We're going to get into the buff. Okay. The Into the buff. And yeah. then there might be a red wine barrel oh, in good. there somehow, yeah, too. Yeah, that'll cover up something. Yes. I don't I don't exactly know the what. But straps, like you see. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, the barrel. <laughs> like in the old comedies, yeah. it was like, I lost all my clothes back there, but there's a barrel here with straps <laughs> I'll put on. <laughs> yeah. Always convenient. Where'd that barrel come Always from? convenient. <laughs> so convenient. That's right. <laughs> but that is what we've got for this Give It a Shot. I'm Andrew. And I am Keith. And we are about beverages.com. And, uh, well, we're getting back to one of our favorite types of beverage subjects today. Beer. Uh, beer, yeah. And uh, specifically a beer at least made in part uh, by Stone Brewery, but also another one of our favorites, Dogfish Head. And uh, yeah. Victory, which I don't believe I'm familiar with Victory. No, so. they're out of Pennsylvania. I, I don't even know if they actually really make their way down here at all into southern Arizona. They could be the Russian River of the East? They could be. They could be that delicious. We won't know, at least not for right now. But uh, yeah, so the three of them, they did a collaboration and they actually created uh, what is what they're calling the Cezanne de Boeuf. Very nice. So that's why we were making the Buff reference the buff earlier. Reference, that's right. And uh, it is a malt beverage brewed with parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Did you have to go to Scarborough Fair to get this? I did. Uh, I, I did. did. All right. I did. I love Canticle uh, Simon and Garfunkel. <laughs> that's and I agree. You mentioned that when we were talking. They, that's what they should have called it. They should have just called it Scarborough Fair. I was going to start singing, but maybe we have got some other singing in the background, right? I'll now. see how Who I knows? can do with the licensing on okay, that. Okay, all right. I'll see what and I then can I'll do. Sing. I, oh, uh, I won't wow, sing. Wait a minute. Uh, but yeah. So anyway, so they made uh, batches like that, uh, and you can buy that just by itself. That that style that that stays on. But then what they also did was Stone. They actually took some of their portion that they had brewed. And they aged it in red wine barrels. So that's actually what we have today. And the other breweries did something as well? With yeah, it? they. Th- this was what was kind of interesting. And obviously we haven't gotten to try these other ones. But I was watching a, uh, it was a uh, group get together on, on uh, Google Plus. Uh, between, uh, it was between uh, uh, Dogfish and uh, the guy actually from Victory couldn't make it. He was having trouble with his computer. And then the other one was uh, obviously Stone Brewing. And then it was Will Wheaton. From uh, Star Trek fame, they were doing like a get together, and they fame? they what's that? Star Trek? Uh huh. I thought he was, he was on Star. He was on Star Trek Next Generation. Oh, oh, I didn't watch. He that. played. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And but he was and, also and in st- Stand yeah, by Me, and obviously okay. in Stand oh, by Me, in Stand by Me as yes, well. Yes, You're yes. seeing all the pictures flipping by. Yeah, okay. Of everything. Please do make no more references because then I'll have to put up another picture. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but he was also in The Big Bang Theory as well. Really? You probably don't watch that. I he haven't. makes cameos in that all the time. Oh, does he? Okay. He's the nemesis of Sheldon. Oh, on all right. Show. Okay. But anyway, sorry, off track. But anyway, so they did, uh, they actually chatted about the beer for over an hour, and uh, what they had all done was each brewery used all of the same ingredients, but they brewed them at their respective breweries. So the biggest difference was possible, you know, quantities, which, you know, which they wanted to stand, what they wanted to stand out more, you know, the herbal or the you know the malts or different things like that and then obviously their water the water also make a big yeah, difference makes, too yeah, so if you can actually find all three they were talking about how very interesting it was that all three of these breweries how they interpreted this beverage unfortunately i was only i have had the stone version of the saison de boeuf without the red wine aging which i had last weekend and it was it was nice it was a little dry definitely herbal came through uh and it, it wasn't too bad all right so we've got the red wine version here today so that's what we're going to try and this comes in the huge 500 milliliter bottle. Yeah, it does. Like I said, it looked bomber esque or bigger than that, but it, yeah, it's just 16.9 ounces. So you got this actually at Stone. I did actually get this at pay- Stone. This was during the uh, trip that we talked about during uh, the uh, <laughs> Wives Week. Uh, this was not something I had to walk to get because I actually got it at Stone. But yeah, it was uh, <laughs> at the brewery. It was it was fifteen dollars for yeah. for that, and I. I swear I've seen this around town. Does did did does the it McGee Road Liquors have this? Looks, I don't think they do. Okay, no. All right. So I'm not sure if this is only. They had alcohol. plenty of them at the brewery, but that was then. That was then. Yeah, that was a couple months back. So whenever this one's gone, it's it's gone. It's you know it's like their other uh, collaboration beers that they've done. I really want to try that. Uh, I knew that was going to happen. That new line ah. that they have. <laughs> the uh, uh, the Best Buy line. Oh, the Enjoy Buy. Enjoy Buy. That's yeah. it. Yeah, probably not Best Buy. That probably wouldn't work <laughs> yeah. too well. It's got this giant yellow tag sticker, price mark sticker. I'm smelling that as it's... Well, it's all over the table. Wafting <laughs> all over the table. <laughs> oh, my God. Lick that up. That's like about a dollar right there. <laughs> <laughs> Why we'll is cl- he sucking we'll, the table? We're going to clean that up in a minute. 
I could really, I, I know we don't usually do aroma first, but actually I could yeah, really. Yeah, you want to start with I that? really actually, got actually, those herbs. Actually, let's go ahead. They yeah. were everywhere. Right? I want to, actually, it's probably good that you have that all over your hands because you could wash your hands with that. <laughs> good. <laughs> More in there. These are tiny glasses. This is definitely a little darker. I don't mean to refer back to something no. that we haven't shown. Uh, a little bit darker. You can definitely tell there's a reddish tinge. There's another tinge oh, here. Oh, than the one you right, had? Right, than, okay. than the actual Saison. Like I said, it was a little bit more golden. Well, it's got that, well, it does have a, yeah, a golden red-ish, this but it's also orangey. got that uh, wheat beer-ish look. Though. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, you're yeah, right, golden hot. orange. Yeah. Right, golden orange. And that's kind of almost, I mean, I know that's not characteristic of style, but like when I think of Saison, I almost now, after having more of them, that's yeah. kind of what it makes me think of is a, actually a, a good wheat beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to that some is extent. amazingly fragrant. Right? little pine actually kind of in there, or minty almost, and then the thyme and some of the other herbs. I don't get a lot of rosemary. No, I don't get rosemary. I get, and maybe it's the pine, but it, there's almost a fruity, a fruit note that, that or some sort of... Is there a wine no, quality not, in there? No, oh. it's not fruit. It's... um. I don't, it's it's a fragrant. There's a fragrant note in there that's not herb. That's not savory. It's almost. And that's why I said that about being on your hands because it's almost something that reminds me of like a very fine. Soap. Is it a detergent? Not deter. I would detergent to me has a negative connotation. Yeah, but but a, but a you know a nice aromatic soap. Um, yeah, and no, that, and it's, it's it's a little perfumey. So something like yeah, said, probably, definitely there's probably a perfumey, the time, maybe almost, it's little, and it's not Earl Grey, but almost like that kind of a bergamot pars- or something like that. Maybe the parsley that can kind of have a little bit of a you know if you've ever it's almost or you know what bergamot actually is almost what I'm going for in that it little Earl almost, Grey. Yeah, a little bit of that, some sort of I can definitely see it. I I like I like the aroma. It's yeah. definitely very different. You know, this it is, is. Yeah. and obviously at the price, it would not be an everyday drinker, and I don't know what it's going to taste like. But right. you know what I mean? Like, I, I think the aromas are very neat. I, I do too. No, I'm not. I'm not uh, put off by them. I'm intrigued by them nice. and enjoying them. Are you intrigued enough to have a sip? I am. At least a sip. <laughs> what about to lick the tablecloth? Uh, I'm not that intrigued. Okay. Not yet. Maybe let's after. Go, yeah, <laughs> let's just go with the glass. We'll fight over the. Bottle. If in the next scene you see me with my face pressed to this table, wringing out a cloth, yeah. <laughs> wringing out the tablecloth. That's very herbaceous. That's very herbaceous, That's and a, all but the the age the wine comes through. I don't get that yet. Oh, that's that reminds me totally of the back end, like that current that we almost got out of the out of the the uh, the Russian River that we had the sour, where there was that. I get know, the oak, sour, oak, that oaky current kind of. I okay. I well okay. I get the sour. And it could just be that all the other aromas from all the herbs are covering that up for me, and I'm just not pick. I'm just not picking up on that at this time. Yeah, wow. The whole finish for me is is all about that kind of where it's almost like so. There's a little bitterness at the back, which I got in the in the in the regular version as well. But the red wine just smooths that out. That extra little flavor, that oaky, not oaky. That's a little too far. But it, it really is. It's like a cherry, like red wine kind of fruit. That really cleans that up a little bit because I remember last week when I had the original, it finished a little more dry than I would have liked. But the herbs well, that must uh, be the, interesting. Then you've seen the, the herbal is about how the, that yeah changes the, that the herbal is about the same. Like I said, really coming through, which I was kind of surprised at. I thought that would even mute some more too, but that really still is pretty strong. But that, that that's that's really complex. That's really interesting. The the aromatics come together and in a very like or like a refreshing sort of balance. Yeah, I would agree. Um, I guess that could be the sage, or it could be the par because parsley has that sort of yeah uh, um, quality to it as well. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. I don't really get the rosemary. No, I don't either. Not really. And it's, I guess that's kind of good because that can be pretty strong. It can be. So, what do you think of this? I like it. It's it's definitely unique. Yeah. Uh, it, it, I mean, extremely uh, unique. And I and to think of aged in red wine barrels and the. Uh, herbs that are in there that wouldn't necessarily you know Asian red aged in red wine barrels and currants I see that marrying <laughs> together you know and, and this and I wouldn't necessarily ever. yeah and did they ever oh yeah that was that was consecration that was the name I was trying to think delicious of a yeah uh, oh, but so like bad. so like this I don't necessarily see that being a combination but 
if and if that is that that soury note that smooths things out at the end, it, what, what you're picking up on, I'm just not able to define it. That that is a nice uh, foundation for everything else. Yeah, I think so. Like I said, because the the original, like I said, it had a little bit more of a like a dry kind of bitter finish. And I think this kind of adds a little bit, still a little bit dry at the at the front of my palate. Oh, I definitely tip have my that. tongue. Don't yeah. you get in? Okay. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. So I'm having trouble talking. <laughs> yeah. No, absolutely, I get that. That's another one of those ones where it's like, I always, I always worry. It's funny. This is kind of weird, off topic, but I always like when these seasonals come around, especially from Stone, because those are some of the easiest ones for us to find usually. Here in Arizona or dogfish, they're pretty good about it too. But any of these kind of seasonals, it's like. It's almost like you're, you want to get one, get home, drink it really fast, right. find out if you like it to find out if you need to buy like five more. Right. And most of the time, uh, like there's been a couple now that I've gotten like some extra ones of where I was like, oh, I probably didn't need to buy these couple extra. Right. Ones. You know what I mean? Right. And th- this is one that I am glad to have tried. I'm glad that we shared today, but I don't need to have another one of these. Yeah. You know but what I mean? Would you and, though, if you saw it? You know what? For fifteen dollars, I probably wouldn't. Yeah. Just because I can, I you know, and and, and not that it's not worth the initial fifteen dollars. Like if this intrigues you at all, yeah. And you don't mind spending those kind of that kind of money on beer, you know, if you're into some of the things that we like to try, the sours and different things, and that's not a big deal to you. I think it's definitely worth trying, and especially to try if you can find the little because the other ones are just in the twelve ounce bottle and it's you know, oh, three fifty okay. or whatever for the the regular saison that they that they, the saison debuff that they did, but they didn't age. I definitely think that's worth trying. And if like that intrigues you, then I think it's worth, you know, getting one of these, but no, I probably wouldn't get another. One. I'd rather I'd rather spend that on the next, you know, whatever the next uh iteration anniversary from Sour Beer. From Firestone oh. Walker or something like that, like those ones that they keep coming out with every oh, year where the, it's like yeah. 15 different beers aged and then blended together. Those are Did you see he had Those are quite fantastic. Uh, yeah, but they had the over. one they had the one that I liked more, but you guys... Well, he had the other one, too, the one we just had. Yes, that still wasn't my favorite, though. Oh, okay. Not for, that, yeah, like, not for $16 yeah, or whatever. Right. Like, again, right. that was another one I was like, glad to have had it. If I could have the very first one we had, yeah, that was I'd really pay good. 15 or yeah. 20 bucks yeah. for that <laughs> and have yeah. that sit around. But that one that... that was You got that and brought that over, didn't you? Yes, that, that was a couple years that's ago. That's yeah. still... That's been the best. That's yeah. been the best one. I like this last one, though. That one was good, too. Mickle. Uh, and if, if, if you ever do get something at... McGee Road that you like, you could call him right back up and say, "Hey, can you put a few oh, of those really? aside?" Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, he that. would. He oh, would do nice. that. Oh yeah, he would. He's told me he would do that. Oh. So I bet I'm sure he would do that. Yes. Oh, that's very cool. But anyway, yeah, like I said, that's always like an interesting thing. Like I said, this is one where I'm like, I'm glad I tried it. Yeah. But it's one that you know, and I'm enjoying it, and we'll finish it. And we'll, but you know, it's not like oh, I wish I had four more of yeah. these. Oh. You know, like yeah. eh, no, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Anyway, so. Uh, Saison. It's delicious. It's good. It's good. Something you can never get enough of, though, is What's heading that? over to the website. Oh! At aboutbeverages.com. Oh, what can you we find You should always there? return to that. <laughs> oh, there's all kinds of things. Drink database, tasting notes, link lounge. Uh, you can see what we've been uh, tweeting about. I actually tweeted oh, yeah. a couple of articles from Zeit last week, and I, I think did you see did that. too. Yeah, so. yeah, I did. T- so. <laughs> I did too about the, uh, the the dangers of the bubble tea, poison boba tea, <laughs> poison bubble tea. boba tea. Take take with it what you will. Yeah, you know how science and studies go. But I thought it was still interesting. I've got a link to an article that I read about uh, sodas, uh, the you know soda fountains and things around the turn of the century, and how that's oh. progressed. That was cool. Um, there was one other one I put on there, and I can't remember what that was, but. You'll have to do what I, I will do, which is go to the website. Check it out. Yeah, so. definitely. But whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot. <laughs>